What up, guys? If you're looking at this now, this is the review po po bleh. Bleh. This is the review portion for Fairy Tale episodes 117 through 119, and I gotta say, my favorite part out of all three of these reactions was when Lo Loxus made an entrance. I'm like, dude, the moment Loxus made an entrance to the scene, I'm like, I I had a gut suspicion that he would enter because there's no freaking way. There is absolutely no freaking way that they were that they showed Loxus earlier in this art, like not too much of him, but they basically show like a little scene of him where he's walking in the desert or some really deserted area. Um and and I thought, is Loxus gonna make an appearance? Not to mention not to mention his grandfather is down. There's no way they're gonna let an episode let this arc end with not even Loxus participating. Now, I love that part that Loxus came in. I, I am a bit upset though that Loxus was not the one that's going to defeat um, uh, Hades because even though I'm cool with Natsu winning, it's kind of like seeing Goku and Vegeta fight in certain episodes. Sometimes Goku deserves the win, sometimes Vegeta deserves the win. But in this case, I strongly feel that Loxus deserved the win and deserved to take down um, Hades after what he did to his grandfather and how he belittled his guild and his grandfather that way. And it's obvious now that everyone that Loxus, there's a possibility that Loxus may be returning to Fairy Tale after this arc is over. At least I hope so because he definitely looked like he's changed. And it looks like Makarov is ready to pick his successor, which is obviously going to be uh, Loxus. It's been Loxus the, from the beginning. He just want he just wanted Loxus to learn, it and you know grow like grow as a character, which I am perfectly happy with. In my honest opinion, I feel like Loxus is mature enough, um, and he's ready to take over the guild, which, like I said, completely happy with. I've been ready for him to take over the guild for a while now. Um, Hades. This dude is all kinds of OP. Natsu. Ooh. <laughs> Natsu went in with lightning dragon, lightning fire dragon slayer. It's like his dragon slayer magic cloaked in lightning, which was so freaking badass. He had like lightning on one hand, fire on the other hand. Well, you get lightning fire, baby. Burn this dude. And yet... He's still alive and kicking and worst off he doesn't even seem that he doesn't even look like he's that much injured. Dude took lightning and fire to the face and can walk as though it were nothing like he just brushed it off. I'm here thinking to myself bro how do you even stand up after getting hit with fire and lightning two devastating powers. He should be either one heavily injured, if he can still stand up, whatever, but he's not even tired. He's not tired, he's not really injured, he's fine. As though, as though he were just doing a simple sparring match, he is perfectly fine. And I'm here thinking to myself again, why is he still fighting? This dude is obviously not either, either not human or... Or he mentioned something of devil, like the devil's eye thing or whatever. It's like he has a portion of Zeref's magic, or is it another uh, bleh, another type of slayer? Because I met, I asked you guys whether there's different variations of slayers, not just dragon slayers and god slayers. Apparently there is. So that dude mentioned devil. Is this something kind of like devil slayer? Because Devil Slayer what? Because there's uh, Zancro where it's God Fire Slayer Magic. Is this like Devil Risen Corpse Slayer Magic? Because the moment he activated his eye, he was able to turn the debris around him into living monsters that shoot weird demonic attack beams of darkness or whatever. So he was able to re resurrect an army. A sm not an army, but like a small little group of people that could fend for him. That could fight for him, essentially. And this dude is still growing strong. He took a beating from Loxus. He took a beating from Natsu, merged with Loxus's power. And he's still going on strong! How is this dude still freaking alive? 
guys, don't tell me that after this arc, Lox, uh, Loxus, um, Hades is still going to be roaming around causing a threat. I is he one of the main key threats in this series? Like, is it kind of like that one thing where they kick his ass or he's, they somehow survive and he flees? Or he gets injured and flees due to um, injury in battle? Because I don't see any of these guys beating him unless they do something to heavily injure him. But then again, there's still Carla, Happy, and Lily still in the area where it's, I guess you can say, the heart of Gilmore. Or Guildheart, oh my god. You know what I mean. I butcher their name a lot. But maybe if they are able to deactivate it or destroy it, that could cease the source of um, Hades' powers. I'm assuming, I'm assuming that's, that's gonna be what ultimately gives them the win fairy tale was what i'm trying to say but if that's true then gildar gildar oh my god i'm scatterbrained hades has one of two options number one he gets killed off somehow some way after his magic is rendered useless because of what happy carla and lily do or option two the moment he realizes he's vulnerable he runs away comes back to fight again another day that's what I'm assuming could happen. One of the two options for this final fight. Because Hades seems like an all-around beast. Like, holy shit. And I thought, like... I thought Makarov was a beast. This dude is the definition of the word, the beast. So I'm here thinking to myself... Is this gonna end with them totally like dominating Hades no different than the rest of their enemies or once again is this an enemy that will get away and what about Zeref where what is he doing and what is he gonna do from here on forward well sorry about that burp only one way to find out in the next reaction which is coming up in a bit guys stay tuned for fairy tale episodes 120 through 122 That'll be it for today. Well, I'll see if I can get in one episode of Nuragami. We'll see. But anyway, guys, see you guys in the reaction in a bit. Bye.